relationship expert Tracy McMillan's got a life story so compelling it was literally made for TV and she inspired the new series Unprisoned. It's starring Kerry Washington. Kerry plays a single mom who finds herself helping her father readjust to life after being incarcerated. But way before her, hit, her story hit the big screen, her TED talk on the person you really need to marry went viral. Let's watch a little. I've been married three times. <laughs> yep, three. And divorced. And what that's supposed to mean is that I am a total failure at relationships. And that is one way to look at it, but not the only way. Because what I think really happened is that I kept marrying the wrong person. Now, it's not that I didn't, you know, it's not that I chose bad guys. My first two husbands were amazing men who are now married to wonderful women who aren't me. <laughs> and my third husband, well, we're friends on Facebook now. <laughs> your, your signature humor. It's so good to see you, Tracy. Thank you. I mean, you're laughing and you're entertaining everybody and you're making us all feel good. But that all comes from a place many, many, many years ago yeah. where you had a very traumatic upbringing. You were bounced mm -hmm. back and forth to foster care. Your dad was imprisoned. We look at this successful woman sitting in this chair and we think, how? Yeah. Like, how, how does one person make that that trek you know i don't think one person does i will say i had a foster family that you see in the show depicted in the show lutheran minister his wife their five kids i lived with them for four and a half years and i will i give them credit for saving my life in many respects because they showed me what a secure home was like mm -hmm. what it felt like and in, you know, it's like you you take a snapshot energetically of that. I carry that with me the rest of my mm -hmm. life. So even though all these other things happened, I have always had that as a reference point, and I'm actually still very close to that family today. It wow. shows you that people, every mm. day, ordinary, extraordinary people That's can right. save lives. Be this show, mm -hmm. which we got to speak to the mm -hmm. actors about, mm -hmm. is all about redemption mm -hmm. yeah. and forgiveness. It really is. Which is sort of, and you, this was and your love. real life and, and love. Um, yes. Talk about about mm. forgiving your dad, like yeah. what that really what, took. You know, it's true. What is that? And, you know, I think part of writing the show was about exploring that. Because my dad was in for 19 years, his most recent sentence. So I knew he was coming out. And I was having to confront myself, like, what is this going to be like? How are we going to have a relationship that's not on the phone? How am I going to introduce him to my son and build a relationship there? Because I only have one dad. And, um, you know, it's like you don't want that opportunity to, to be lost yeah. because he made a million mistakes and because he was a very flawed person. You know, he's actually also a very good person inside. And part of the reason I wanted to write the show is, like, I feel like people have an idea of what a career criminal mm -hmm. is or what a person who's been in prison is like. And then they would meet my dad and say, well, what a lovely man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I know. Is forgiveness... Sometimes people say, well, I forgave that person and it's over. Mm. But sometimes it feels like forgiveness happens daily, weekly. Because oh, wow. you have to keep forgiving. Because yeah, it's, it's your, cause your thoughts and your emotions are still inside you. That's right. And you're evolving. And I feel like over time you learn more, you see more, you have more experiences that sometimes allow you to have a level of forgiveness that maybe you you wouldn't have had five years ago. Yeah. You know? So it wasn't anything he said, like when you, when you forgave him, mm -hmm. was it a moment or did you just say to yourself, I can't carry this anymore? I want to say it's a series of actions. Oh. It's like a choice yeah. to look at the, what is highest yeah. in him oh. as opposed to, you know, the, the character flaws uh -huh. that led him down that road. You know, mm -hmm. I think it's a very complex topic and I loved having the show to yeah, explore totally. all these mm -hmm. things. It's really about humanizing me, him, yeah. my kid, everybody in yeah. the story, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Um, one of the things that we love about you is, is, as we saw in the TED Talk, is that you've said, I've had failed relationships, yeah. oh, yet yeah. that does not define who I am. No. Um, you're in love, though. I am. <laughs> um, you know, I met my boyfriend on a plane, mm -hmm. and now we've been in a relationship going on three years, and it's really been an incredible journey to uh, find someone worthy and to, you know, I want to say, what's different this time, right? Yeah. Yeah. You always have to ask yourself right. that when you have a history. I mean, we yeah. all have a history. Yeah. yeah. So, and I wish I could say that I'm different. I'm not. I'm the same. But I take different actions. Oh, I take 
the actions that are that lead to secure relationship. Mm. And when you take those actions, you're not waiting for the other person to do it first. Yeah, totally. You're doing it consistently. Mm. You have a new experience in relationship. That is what I'm finding. You said his name. By the way, they always say you can tell if someone's in love because they keep saying his name. Really? Before we went on the air, you've said oh, yeah. his name like three times. Yeah. I'm like, she does. She, <laughs> yes. She's uh, in love. That's really she's funny. in love. Wow. Yeah. You no, know, but it takes more than being in love. Yeah. It really is. Those actions add up, you yeah. know? Because it's all about, there's so much relationship science now. You um, you're going to talk about that? Yeah. Because yes. we were like, she can't just come for one segment. Yeah. Yes. Tracy's going to stick around. Yeah, she's all got right. some great relationship advice coming up right after this. All right. Yes. And we're back with best-selling author, relationship expert, and the host of Family or Finance, Tracy McMillan. Yeah, she's got some dating advice. We've been waiting for this, so let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first... For, what about this question yeah. for somebody that is worried about settling? Yes. Settling, settling is, is such a, thing. a big thing. I think it's a, it's not what you should be worrying about. I really don't think so. Most of the time when people think about settling, they're like, okay, I want them to have this job or look this way or whatever. None of that. That is not going to impact your relationship mm -hmm. long term as long as the basics mm -hmm. are there. A relationship is about choosing a primary attachment figure. And your primary attachment figure is going to determine, really, the studies are your health, wow. your over, your, the way your nervous system is regulated. Mm -hmm. Your overall. So, first and foremost, you want to be looking at that primary attachment piece. Is this a person that I can get my needs, attachment mm -hmm. needs? Met. Not my needs for whatever my Instagram's going to look like. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and I think that we just don't have that information that that's what we're choosing is an attachment figure. That's interesting. And you have to have all the basic shared values and yeah. all those yes. kinds of things. But sometimes when you start a relationship, you want to know these things and you don't want to waste time as, they, as you go through True. things. But you want to get to the, to the heart of it. How, do you, yeah. how did you do that? Well, you know, people always ask me, like, how soon can I tell them what, my, you know, yeah. what I want Goal in my life? Right. Yeah. And I'm like, I think you can say it right away as long as you're not trying to get it from them. What, the way I think you want to communicate that is, here's where I am in my life. Here's my vision for my life. And you just share your life project. This is what I see. And then if that, if they see something similar, then they can jump on yeah. board with you. You're not saying, and if I need this. way, you don't want that. Yeah, I was going to say, because if, if they are scared because it's too early, your thought yeah. is, oh, well. And it's okay. You're not trying to get it from them. I think you're trying to share your life and your vision for your life with somebody <laughs> rather than, I'm a blank slate, and I'm trying to get you to give me a picket fence, a baby, whatever it yeah. is, you know? Yeah, okay. So lastly, some folks spend a lot of time trying to decipher what the other person yeah. is thinking or mm -hmm. feeling. I feel like that... Yeah, what did that mean? Why did Why you would that? you say that? Why would you do mm -hmm. that? What, what's your advice just mm -hmm. well, generally? Well, you know, I would say this. I, I wrote this into Unprisoned, by the way, where um, Edwin, the dad, says to Paige, he's like, you know, there's only three or two answers in a relationship. Yes, no, and maybe. And she said, that's three answers. And he's like, maybe's a no. <laughs> maybe's a no. <laughs> maybe's a no. And I think... No answer is an answer. Mm -hmm. Unclear. Somebody who's like, I'm not clear. That's an answer. Right. It's not like there's a real answer behind whatever somebody is saying. It's yeah. like, if they're not sure, that means they're not sure. And you need to know that. I think it's all about... How honest can I be with myself about yeah. where I am I, and where we are? Yeah, I think sometimes, like, you know, people who date the same person over and over yeah. and over again, right. they keep going, it's not working, it's so weird, but right. that, they find that's their attraction. Right. How do you, like, step out of that? Right. Because if you're attracted to what you're attracted yeah. to. Right. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So sometimes I think when you start to see that you are attracted to, say, unavailable people. Yeah. There is a, a sneaky way that that means you're unavailable. Yeah, totally. Uh, right. And so if I can come to terms with, hmm, is this a mirror that I'm looking right. into? If that's my unavailability, right. then I need to work on that. Right. Yeah. And when I work on that, honestly, the, I will cease to become attracted yeah. to yeah. unavailable people, and they will not be attracted to me. Yeah. So you're always meeting your match out there. You That's have to sort of operate on that. And premise. I feel like everything you've said to us in the commercial break too is about working on yourself, yeah. which I think is so Im right. It important. really is. It's yeah. working with yourself with another person yeah. who also wants to work on themselves. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh my gosh, come Tracy. back, Tracy. That wasn't enough. <laughs> Thank you. And you guys, everybody, watch Unprisoned. It's incredible. It's streaming right now on Hulu. Gotta check it out. We'll be back right after this.